It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. And it comes your way next. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Here now to get us started is Logan Cook, and we are underway from Ford Field. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And out come the Lions for their first drive behind their ninth-year quarterback in year number four with Detroit. It's Jared Goff. It's hardly an exaggeration to say that Goff has revitalized his career these last couple of years, and he is rewarded for it during the offseason, as Detroit has certainly made sure everyone knows he's their quarterback for the future. It's clear that they believe in him, and he's done nothing to sway them from that belief. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. In motion goes Patrick. Opening play, and Goff wants to pass it. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's gonna involve multiple people, and right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. And he finds Montgomery complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so, and gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it, and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Now they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Here's gone. He's got right on the short throw. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Now Goff. That is caught. 
And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Now a first and 10 at the 11. First run of the game for Jameer Gibbs, the Alabama product. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. All around great play by Devin Lloyd, using his athleticism to get to the backfield and his strength to stop him for a loss. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Into the hands of Patrick left side. The result only four yards there on the play. And that brings up third and a full ten yards. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Now gone. Throw left side caught by LaPorta. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. To throw is gone. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. I spotted man coverage on the outside. I expect we'll see a lot of that from this defense as this game moves on. And that was a good job there as that one was knocked away. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Montgomery is into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now the try here for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here come the Jaguars to take over for the first time behind Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback in season number four. Last year was a bit of a mixed bag for Lawrence as he started off looking like a budding superstar, but then he suffered an ankle injury and was a shell of himself the rest of the way. His team needs him to stay healthy if they plan on maximizing their full potential. And if that ends up being the case, they'll have a good shot to win a lot of games here in 2024. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10. Just shy of the 30. They'll start on the ground, ETN. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Here's a second and nine now for the 29. Another toe for ETN. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, 
But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and ten. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. That's complete to Parker Washington. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 45-yard line. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Now Lawrence. That's caught. It's the former Bill, Gabe Davis. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. A short throw to Ingram. Even with him busting through the contact, he'll still be stopped just inside the 35. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Back to the ground with ETN. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Now Lawrence to throw. Screenplay, here's ETN. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. A give, running right, ETN. And not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. From the 23, here's the second and nine. Here's Lawrence to throw. He'll fight a man over the middle. It's Washington. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring us to a third and four. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. 
First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Lawrence gets this quickly to Ingram. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. ETN will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. A try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by a Travis Etienne touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and five. Now it's gone. He's got right on the short throw. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here comes third and about a foot. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Goff now to throw. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Gone. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and ten. He'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. 
Ronald Darby that time, the one who got a hand in and knocked it free. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now ETN to start the drive. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. From the 22, here's second and eight. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Now Lawrence. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. So on fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt for Jacksonville. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 21. In motion, the tight end. Play action. It's Goff. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Caught the defense off guard there a bit on second and long, but now you still have to deal with third and long. Yeah, you do, but you feel pretty good about the last play, don't you? And maybe it gives you a little bit of confidence dialing up the next one that maybe your team will believe in it when you send it in. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 40 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Here's Goff. Fighting through pressure. 
And that is incomplete here. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the gun. Goff. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw, Goff. And that will be incomplete as well. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt. Three-yard return, and the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Down to the sideline, and it's intercepted. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Now, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And they'll start with a short field following that turnover as they look for points here before the break. After the interception, here's Goff. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get to field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Here's Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Goff now looking to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. To the air again, Golf. 
And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Gaw. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Golf. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. In that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? And this will be a Jaguars first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll go again with ETN. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's Lawrence. Buying time to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. Has not been a big game for him throwing the football. I think he feels like, let's try something different. Let's use the legs here and see if we can make some plays. And no passing touchdowns. Yardage not where he would like it. Try something new. It worked there. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 31, here's second and four. Lawrence will throw. He'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but against zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. 
Very difficult route to run, but everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback, and they're able to see the route develop. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. DJ Reader there on the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw Lawrence on the slant. He finds Washington. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. From the shotgun, Lawrence work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Jaguars are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Now Lawrence. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Straight ahead, ETN. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Partner, has been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. And the incompletion, then the run for no gain. Let's see now. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Oh, partner, just a second earlier. And they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage. But he had just enough time to dodge the pressure. And he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jacks. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And able to get this out to the 25. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their three-point halftime lead gone now, back to a tie game, but... Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start things off with a give to Gibbs, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Here's a second and two now from the 33. In motion goes Patrick. To throw is Goff. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. 
flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. A shotgun snap for Gong. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Now gone. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. That is Joshua Hines Allen working his way in for the sack. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Throwing on second and long. Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So pass interference, the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. Goff now looks to throw. To the right side and intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. And now out come the Jags. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. D.J. Reader, break loss of seven. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. It led to a sack, and that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. ETN up the middle. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. So here's a third and 14. Here's Lawrence to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 
A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A handoff for ETN. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a good pickup on the ground of seven yards, and time has run out on this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. Knotted up here at 10. That's our score as we begin quarter number four. Now Lawrence to throw. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. The downside for the defense is that they're dealing with a team that's in their red zone, but the upside, not much room to work with for the offense. Fewer windows in the zone for them to throw into. Tougher quarterback to get a throw off before the pressure ends up getting to him. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and seven. Now Lawrence. Forced out to his left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence. A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Ah, uh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left, and he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Point after try, forthcoming. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was capped off by Trevor Lawrence taking it in himself. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And just shutting him off there. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery, and he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Should rely more on the passing attack? I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field downfield. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Gone. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Patrick. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. 
So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Wiggles free. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one possession game. This one not fully over yet. They'll start on the ground here on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. And that's just an ideal run to start this drive because they're in full ball control mode now. So if you keep ripping off seven, eight, nine yards of carry, you're going to have a great chance of finishing off this game. Two yards to go, second down. They go play action now. Lawrence. The pass complete to Ingram on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's a give to ETN. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Lawrence. And Davis with it left side. Nifty move. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 39 yards there, a big one. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Looking to throw. Lawrence. The quick slant caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Second and goal from the one. Back to throw. Lawrence got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Jaguars have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead now up to 14. So the drive there took six plays. And Evan Ingram able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away.
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And Detroit getting set to go now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So the previous pass interference call put the ball at the one-yard line, and then they stick it in on the very next play. And I love the play call right there. After you get the pass interference call, you've got a defense that's discombobulated a little bit, right? They are they're protesting the call, upset about what happened. Go right at them. Run the football, and the defense acquiesces, and the ball ends up in the end zone. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver. Ball's put on him. Two points for them. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game? And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Lawrence. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. On the counter, ETN. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. 
They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. We're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And he'll run here with ETN. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Here's a give to Bigsby. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down at six. Back to throw. Lawrence. Screenplay. Here's ETN. And he will have a Jaguars first down. And that ought to be the one that seals the victory. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. Lawrence to a knee, and that will write a finish to this one. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score. They get the victory. And that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.